Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Ardell Vision, where I, Ardell, take you on a journey to capture the vision of my life in hopes to inspire you lovely visionaries to do the same. Ah, where do I begin? How can you give a F if you don't know me, T.I.? Anyways, I realized for me to share with you the vision of capturing my life, I feel like I need to be vulnerable oh. enough with all of you just to let you know where whence I came from. You know, because how can you be the ears to hear my voice that speaks if you don't even know what I've gone through? What are my credentials? Because I definitely don't have any professional ones, let's be honest. It all starts way back in LA. I was born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. So I was born in St. Louis, but when I was a baby, I moved to California on my own. I was just like, I'm out. No, my family brought us all out there when I was a baby and I lived there for 10 years. I hear drama, I gotta go. Huh. Okay, I'm back. So as you can tell, my studio has officially changed because long story short, I live with a friend and she has two pool dogs and that was a false alarm. So moving on. So I grew up in California as a little kid, lived there for about 10 years. It was tumultuous to say the least, but it was interesting. I had a very fascinating childhood. We weren't rich at all. We were poorer than the other little kids. It was a fun childhood. We were always playing outside on the street. It was not a safe neighborhood, but our street was safe, but the one next door was not. And there'd be like drive-by shootings in the middle of the night, but somehow our little neck of the woods was always safe. So I was always playing, always having fun. My family life was not stable per se, you know, my parents definitely didn't always get along, but there was love. Like I knew that my parents loved me, but they had, you know, <laughs> friction. So I remember my mom always taking me to church. I remember like accepting Jesus into my heart and I was like, come on in, like it's okay in there. And I was like excited. Basically after 10 years of living in LA, things got diffy diffy, diffy seal, difficult, not easy, hard. <laughs> and we decided to move back to the Midwest, to Nashville. My family ended up splitting at that point. So we ended up going to St. Louis, the girls did, and my bro and my dad lived in Nashville. And I thought it was gonna be like a two and a half day trip. We were about to like peel out, like me and my sisters and my mom to go visit my grandma. My dad was at the doorway and like super dramatically, I was like, no! Ran and gave my dad one last hug goodbye, thinking I'd see him in two and a half days. Maybe my little heart knew it'd be longer because it ended up being two and a half years later. We finally saw him again, which initiated like Christmas and summer visits, which was really good. When I was about 13, I um, my mom finally found a church that she uh, liked for us. But looking back, it was definitely like had cult-like tendencies. And I never thought I'd say that, but it definitely wasn't, wasn't, didn't end as a good thing, but I do think that everything turns around for good. At the end of that church, um, I went there for about 10 years. I was 24 or so. My dad saw how difficult things were for, were for me. My dad asked if I wanted to move to LA to pursue my career in acting. And I was like, deuces! Moved to LA, never did anything with the acting thing. It basically was an expensive hobby. I took a lot of classes, kind of tried to go to auditions, pretty much overslept through every single one of them. I ended up getting really depressed. I started drinking for the first time. I was 25 when I had my first drink. So, started drinking, partied like a rock star, Adderall, abused it like a drug, cigarettes, cocaine a little bit. I was on antidepressants. I kind of just went absolutely crazy. My rock bottom was pretty bad though, and I didn't recognize myself anymore. But it got to a point in LA where I was just done. And I prayed to God for the first time in a very long time. If you want to hear my testimony, it's, I never thought I'd have one this amazing. God came through and rescued me from the pit of my self dug hole. I Im immediately went to therapy and started working through all my old hurts and my wounds. And the little girl in me like gave myself a hug and was like, you got to get better. I just knew I didn't like who I had become. I just now realized that the God I was preached when I was younger, which was I'm a Santa Claus God and I'll give you everything you want. That wasn't true. You know, difficult times comes to everybody. God does not promise an easy life. I, this time I realized that. And so I had an anchor to my soul to walk with me through the difficult times that were definitely up ahead because I had met some not so nice people. I'm not going into the depths of it all, but it was really bad. You need to realize how bad it was. Okay. I'm trying to convince you right now. It was horrible. At one point I was homeless, carless, penniless, and jobless. Like I literally was like, oh my God, like this is happening right now. I just didn't know how to make friends anymore. I didn't realize that friends can suck. I didn't realize humanity can suck and there's really just not good people in the world. Like I used to think that everybody had a little good in them and I tried to like love them, but just I realized, you know, you can't change everyone. So I just basically hunkered down with my family who like pulled me out of there and with my best friend, Nene, love you. Um, but I was taken care of because I have an amazing friend and I had amazing support. So years after all of that, I still was just wounded from all of that drama. I decided I wanted to move back to St. Louis. I'm from the Lou and I'm proud. I thought I was going to reconnect with all my friends. Well, that kind of didn't happen. It just didn't manifest the way I expected it to. I kept trying to force friendships with people and I gave too much of myself into them. And I felt like, you know, why am I always attracting this kind of friend or this kind of person? I just like went into hermit crab mode. I didn't 
befriend anybody and I just completely stayed closed off from trying to befriend people and just went into myself and just stayed connected to God. I do believe for myself personally that God is a friend that sticks closer than a brother because he was all I had and the miracle of everything I went through with finding him again those little things would always happen but I had nobody to share it with I ended up finding a really good church for those of you that really care if you do great I went there for by myself for a year before I even tried to commit to meeting people I would just dip in and dip out and just didn't even want to try to um, meet people and at one point I said I would start trying and I have a couple videos about it if you want to like reflect back with me where I just kind of pushed myself and committed to showing up for myself I was like I'm gonna go I'm gonna be in this Bible study and I tried to make friends didn't happen and try to make friends didn't happen another Bible study another book study another event and I would just always not make friends but I realized in the interim in the aftermath of it all I was plotting little seeds along the way and I would meet someone and it took a year later for me to get to a point where I've met some really quality people and that's like a whole nother video but my life has just opened up like a butterfly in such a beautiful way because I was in my cocoon for such a long time and it's amazing. Today's the day, the tank is clean, and we are getting out of here. I just want to encourage you to get out of your muck, so keep showing up for yourself. And also know that it's okay that if you're in a phase when things just aren't quite what you want them to be. Wow, I'm getting off track. So moving here, I also realized that everything I had gone through, I was still really emotional. I still had a lot of anxiety and I still had a lot of fear. And I knew something was wrong with me. I thought I had border line. I thought it was bipolar. I thought it was depressed. And I realized I have ADHD. Ha ha ha. Ding ding ding. And I've been on keto and things have been really good and I've been able to attain a little more self-confidence the more I learn about myself. And that's why I've made all these videos to just encourage you to fight for you. You gotta fight for your right to party, man. Actually, really, truly, the more you work on self-development, self-awareness, listening, all the all the interpersonal skills that we need so bad, and you love yourself more, you could be a better available person to other people. I guess I just really realized I've never shared with you guys my full story. I just wanna let you know that I'm here if you have any questions. Leave them in the comment section below. If you liked this video, give it one big thumbs up. It's me being pretty personal. Pretty, pretty personal. Pretty personal. And I feel like I'm leaving stuff out. Depressed, grew up in a crazy home, found God, ADHD, things are getting better. I have a hope and I want to share with you all that. What What are your guys' experience in life and what led you to get to the point where you are now? But thank you so much for watching and just know that God's for you. I'm praying for you and I hope all of my little lovely viewers are having a good week. Definitely share this with your friends if you like the video. Um, thank you so much for watching Ardella Vision and you all take care. Bye!